So we're now at the very top of uh, Isnajar. You can see the, the old Roman bridge there, right at the bottom, and further on the, the aqueduct. So we, we've come all the way up in, it is quite steep. And uh, we may just be able to see the hotel from here. Well, the hotel is more towards where that uh, lake is over there. We'll get a better view in a minute. And over there where the, the camera's scanning is, is Granada. I won't sing the song. <laughs> but we're practically at the top. And I don't know if you can hear, there's a mass going on at the moment in time in, in, in this church. It really is a gift. It's quite wonderful just to come in and, and see this way of life. It's such a traditional way of life. And it's so distressing. I think that's the thing. We don't realise sometimes uh, what a stressful life that we have and the way that we live at this moment in time. Waking up, living to go to work, and then you come to a place like this when it's so laid back you can see what I'm looking at scanning there are all the olive farms because that's the, that's a the major industry here. It's all the olives. Obviously at the top of this mountain there's the souvenir shops, restaurants. But I think the major industry is, uh, is the olive trees. Which as I scan you can see they're absolutely everywhere. And all the local farmers. So it, it really isn't very much... Uh, a traditional way of life and there's so much to be said for it because when you speak everyone we walk past I almost feel so embarrassed everyone we walk past says Ola, Ola. I mean absolutely everyone it's 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 so friendly I think everyone said the same thing as that they've all said it's uh, it's so it's just so chilled it's so relaxing and I think that I think that's the thing Here's Christian coming up here now. Uh, James and Anna just at the back there. First time for them. I'm back, I'm back at the mass. You're probably thinking it doesn't look full, but th th these sessions go on all day. It's very traditional and you can just join in, come and join in when you, when you want. Again, it's back on this sort of very laid back principle. And there's a souvenir shop just down there that you might be able just to get hold of. But I wanted to, I wanted you to sit here to, to, to see that and try and convey to you how how relaxing the whole the whole place is. Because that, for me, that that's what it's all about. When you just come here and you feel so chilled, you sleep better. The pace of life is just so much slower, and you just, you, you, you just, uh, well, you just embrace it. You can't help but embrace it. And, and even when you're at meal time, you know you, 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 you have your starters, and then you wait because we're full board here. And, and I'm not just saying it, it is so inexpensive as full board goes. Everyone said around here because you, you're not the main tourist spots. You know how much further euros go. Um, in, in the town, Rute is the nearest town, you know, and we yesterday we had uh, a couple of wines, beer, and they gave us this sort of snacks, which consisted of prawns. I'm not, I'm not a shellfish lover, but uh, Anna is, so the prawns and crisps were just free. Ten euros, it was absolutely unbelievable, you know, so it, v value for money as well, you know, it, it, it's great. But t tell me, what, what price is, uh, what price is chilling out? And enjoying that. I'll let, I'll let you figure that one. So I just wanted you to see it, and uh, I'll be back later with the. I have a later on today, or tomorrow, with the gym. <laughs>